Happy hellos from Jackson, California. I'm here with my wonderful assistant Molly, my English Springer Spaniel, to share a wonderful fit tip. If you have hip pain and groin pain and it feels almost as though it's in a spasm, then this video is perfect for you. The psoas muscle is the only muscle in the body that connects the upper body all the way to the lower body. Wow! One muscle connecting upper to lower. What a powerful muscle it is. And there are things in life, things we do, accidents that occur, perhaps too much sitting, that causes that muscle to spasm out. Here is my 3D model of the pelvis. The psoas muscle is this long muscle that attaches actually starting with the thoracic spine, T12 and attaches to each of the transverse processes of the lumbar spine. It crosses the pelvic girdle and then attaches down to the leg at the greater, I'm sorry, the lesser trochanter. This is the greater trochanter. Here's the lesser trochanter. It blends with the iliacus muscle that attaches to the inside of the pelvic girdle, comes across right next door, and attaches down to that lesser trochanter. Amazing, but this muscle, the psoas major, the only muscle in the body that attaches the upper to the lower body. An amazing muscle. The fitness professionals that I consult with agree with me that it's not always good to stretch a muscle that's in a spasm. There are other ways of releasing it. And some of those ways are with those health professionals, but what I want to show you today is something that you can do for yourself at home. I use a block. It's a progressive so as release. If I accidentally say stretch, please forgive me. I tend to say stretch rather than release a lot. So we're releasing the so as muscle and the other hip flexor and groin muscles. This block is wonderful because you can start at different levels. If you're in quite a bit of pain and you have issues with your back when you lay with your legs on the floor um, completely laid out and it hurts your low back then you need to start this exercise at the highest level. If you have slight pain perhaps you can start it at the second level. But I like that we have these different options available and then there's a third level and of course the fourth level is the floor. So you need to discover which one is going to be best for you. I'm going to just start with the third level. Now what I use is a large block because one of my legs is going to be up on the block at, 90, at a 90 degree level. I'm going to use a kettlebell for my foot to relax against but anything you can use so that your foot is aligned in a nice upright position. When I go into the stretch it's important that I do so carefully. So what I do is I sit next to my block, move this block out of the way, I sit next to the block with my hip right at the edge. Then I'm going to scoot around, lay on my back, allow my other leg to be stretched onto the block at whatever level that you choose. My other leg is bent 90 degrees and my goal right now is to simply to breathe, let go and relax. And you can hold this release, not a stretch, for anywhere from a minute up to five minutes and longer if it feels good. Go with whatever time frame, but give yourself at least a minute. I really recommend that. When I'm ready for the next level, I will bring my leg up, roll to my side with help from my hands. I don't normally have a microphone. And then I will bring it to the next level. So I'm going to move that over and Put my kettlebell right on the floor and you may want to mark where where your leg is really supported so you don't have to keep readjusting that just just put a little piece of tape or something so you know where that spot is for your foot to be uh, relaxed up against the weight so here I am again very carefully I'm right next to my block I roll to my side I bring my legs up and I settle into my release comfortably Again, breathing deeply, letting go. You'll notice that each time your back may feel a little bit arched, depending on your own personal unique body. 
And as you let go and release, you'll find that the back settles into the floor. In fact, the entire spine will begin to settle into the floor, and it's a beginning step for offset in the spine. I recommend again holding this for at least one minute. Relaxed, peaceful. You may want to use some relaxation music or a guided progressive uh, imagery tape. That, that could be helpful also. When I come up, bend my legs, roll to my side with help, and come back up to an upright position. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please like my YouTube channel so that you can get all my fit tips. And if you know of someone in pain, please share this. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.